I'm Hayden Roscoe, I'm one of the client managers for Telecom New Zealand. Today we're here at Wellington Zoo on another typical Wellington Barmy day to meet with Karen Fifield, the CEO of Wellington Zoo's Trust. Uh, they're one of Telecom's clever companies. We're going to discuss the innovative ways that they do business and we're also going to find out what it takes to keep a zoo running. So let's go on and see what they do. Hi, I'm Karen Fifield. I'm the Chief Executive at Wellington Zoo Trust. I've been in Wellington Zoo since September 2006, so it's been fantastic three and a half years. It's been really wonderful. We're in the middle of a redevelopment program for the zoo. It's a 10-year program. started at the end of 2006, and it's really about creating a totally new zoo. Some of the major projects in the redevelopment have been the Nest to Kohanga. It's been a fantastic experience. It's the biggest um, project of the Zoo Capital Program. It was $6.3 million, but it's state-of-the-art animal hospital. Our visitors are loving it, and our partners who work with the zoo are loving it as well. The zoo is a business, and people often don't think that the zoo is a business. I'm not sure what um, format people think about the zoo, but for us it is about a business, and it is about making good business decisions. The major risks that we would have as a business would be obviously the weather. Um, in terms of our visitation. But the one thing I love about Wellingtonians, it doesn't matter whether it's raining, they will still come out and visit their zoo. So I really appreciate that. Obviously the other risks are making sure that we do have enough money to invest in the areas that are very important for a modern zoo. So what do we do in terms of conservation, both in situ and ex situ. Um, being able to make sure that we can pay our people properly because it's a very specialist skill set of people who work in the zoo. So it's making sure that they're recognised in terms of what we pay them and making sure that we can keep those good people working at our zoo because if we're going to be the best little zoo in the world, which is what we want to be, that's about having really good people as well. Um, technology is becoming more and more important like any other business sense. I mean, we, um, a lot of our media releases pretty much are non-existent. We do a lot of stuff on Facebook and on Twitter. I think that, you know, those sorts of things are really important because it's real time. It's real, real time's up to date information about the zoo. And that's really what we're trying to do with our exhibits as well. So if you look at the Nest to Kohanga, it's real time veterinary work. So people never know what they're going to see when they come to the zoo. The vets could be doing anything from operating on a chimpanzee down to a kiwi. So it's really about, you know, that technology really supports that real, real time experience that we're trying to create at the zoo. I like all of them for different reasons. I really like birds, but I'd have to say our female dingo is one of my favourite animals. Um, I do love Jessie, our, our matriarch in the chimp group, and I do love Tisa, our fem one of our female giraffes. 